In this video, I'd like to address a common configuration that we see in the wild, where somebody's trying to back up a single folder from their startup disk, and instead of choosing just that single folder as the source to the task, they select the whole startup disk as the source, and then exclude everything except for that one folder they're trying to back up. While that configuration can work, it is a little bit awkward, so I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, an example of that suboptimal configuration and show how it's awkward, and then I'd like to show how we can migrate from that configuration to a more optimal configuration. So first I'll choose my whole startup disk as a source and then choose copy some files to exclude everything except for that folder. So right off the bat we see a warning here from CCC specific to this exact configuration. If you're just trying to back up a single folder there's a better way to do this. If we ignore that though and then exclude everything and then re-include just a single folder from my documents folder We'll then choose the backup disk as the destination. So in this configuration, it kind of looks like a bootable backup task, and CCC is going to treat it as such. You've selected a whole disk as a source that has an installation of macOS on it, and you've selected a whole disk as a destination. So it kind of looks like maybe you, you might be thinking about making a bootable backup. As such, CCC is going to issue some warnings that are irrelevant to the task that you're actually trying to succeed. CCC is going to say that you've excluded some stuff, it's not going to be a bootable backup. The task does succeed though and it copies the stuff that you asked it to back up. Um, but the next thing that we're going to see is that um, getting to the, de the data in the destination is a little awkward as well. We've got this whole folder hierarchy from the source preserved at the destination. So to get to the stuff that you wanted to back up, we've got to go pretty far. Additionally, these folders at the root level belong to the root user, so you're not going to be able to make changes to these folders without authenticating, which can be a little bit annoying on a backup disk that's configured only to backup a single folder. So next I'd like to show how we can uh, get to a better configuration. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to move this folder, which is what we're trying to backup from the source, to the root level of the destination. So we'll go ahead and authenticate. And now I've got a bunch of empty folders here, so I'm just going to throw those in the trash. Uh, so there we go. The destination is now nice and cleaned up. And next, I'm going to fix the scope of this backup task. I want to back up a specific folder to a specific folder on the destination. So we've got the destination folder here. We'll just drag that onto the destination selector. And then I'm going to navigate to that same folder on the source and drag that onto the source selector. So now we don't need this uh, complicated task filter anymore. We'll go ahead and clear the task filter and choose to copy everything. And now I've got this task that's scoped perfectly to copy just that one folder on the source to that one folder on the destination. And that's all there is to it. If you have additional questions about using Carbon Copy Cloner, select Carbon Copy Cloner Help from the Help menu and search the knowledge base. You can also ask a question about CCC to submit a question to our help desk or visit bombic.com.